Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Torchwood. Last time on Torchwood, we had Adam, where this alien named Adam sort of integrated himself into the Torchwood team by replacing everyone's memories and kind of changing everyone uh, in different ways, of course. Um, Gwen forgot who Reese was. He... Uh, Yanto became a serial killer when he started to, uh, figure out things that were happening. Tosh became a lot more, um, confident, I guess, is the word I could use to describe that. And Owen lost all his confidence, basically, and Jack was pretty much unchanged. And they figured it out. They figured it out. Um, Adam kind of wanted to just feed off of Jack's memories from when he was a kid. Got a lot of touching scenes with Jack, and then he died. The end. Well, not Jack, but Adam. So, yeah. This is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of Torchwood, Doctor Who, and Doctor Who Classic that I have reacted to. And with that being said, let's get right into this episode. Here we go. We're closing. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Documents on the body identified. Clearly someone Meredith important. Meredith Rock. Miss Martha Jones. Martha? Yay! Yay, we brought back Martha! Oh, that's awesome. Dr. Jones is from Unit. Oh, is she sorry. now? Sorry, I get a bit uh, confused. Which one's Unit? <laughs> Intelligence, military, cute, red. Puncture mark. Hypodermic needle. You'll find his bloodstream Ow. is pumped full of ammonium hydroxide. Do you miss him? No. Wow. I made my choice. Maybe sometimes. Uh, tiny bit. Tiny. Tiny. Then I come to my senses again. Anyway, I've got plenty to occupy me. Oh yeah, Miss <laughs> Highfalutin. What? What is it? Medical officer? Oh yes. <laughs> so uh, I call you mom. I love this. No. That hmm. I'd come highly recommended by an impeccable source. I mean, well, who else would have done it? <laughs> you must have thought you owed you a favor. Oh, that's cool. The doctor recommended her. Yes, we all do. The doctor does have sway so with you, Ned. Get me one of those red caps. We were only together for a few days, but it was pretty intense. You mean? Oh God, no! No, not that sort of intense. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a big mission. Are you? Not. Are you and him? No. Uh-huh. Uh, right well, your aim is a little off. You know, my dog bit him and then I kicked him in the nuts. Uh, uh, respect. Nice shot. <laughs> God, these transitions are weird. Let's say we were under the same doctor. These killings. Why the ammonium that is. Weird way to oh, and starting to put yeah, something yeah, together gosh. about the doctor. Mm. I've been analyzing Marie's test results now. I'm hoping that will give us an indication. So we're still in the dark. No idea where the killer will strike next. And the attacks are getting more frequent. We keep looking, Gwen. We'll find something. I love that Martha immediately gels. I got it from the farm. Farm? What farm? Marie! P H A R M, the farm. Oh, okay. Place, the right? farm. They gave it to me. They paid me a lot of money. They said I should keep quiet about it because it was part of the contract. Okay, so then. Clinical trial subject. Nope. So it's an alien lava incubating in human bodies. We've never seen anything like it. Okay. So it left me. Sorry, you've had a wasted journey, Mr. Harker. Harkness. And it's Captain it's Harkness. Captain, but you can call me Jack. Captain. <laughs> Normally, Aaron, we go where we like. Not here. Get yes, here. Ask Whitehall. We are fireproof. Yeah, yeah. I had a bad experience. Ask the Queen. We're here for a. We're here and we're gonna do stuff. Yeah. Let me get some. Unless you were to put a medic in there. Someone who knew what to look for. Yeah, but I can't do it. They know me now, don't they? I know it's hard to believe, Owen, but I wasn't thinking of you. <laughs> Yeah, you can send Martha in there. No way. Come on, Jack. I've been in worse places. You <laughs> yeah. Know you know she saved the world from the master. 
Let her go. Does she still have the key? Uh, but she's going in as a volunteer. Okay. I'd rely on Martha if the world was ending. Ha! In fact, I did. Okay, yeah. Please, oh, plans Jack, plans. you're so cryptic. We double. Yeah? Yeah. So, what's his dabbling like? Is he good? Really? Bordering on the avant garde. Wow. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Which exploits the solution to the EPR paradox. I was quantum hmm. entanglement from my particles. Okay, cool. Did I mention she was brilliant? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's saying a lot of crap I don't get. Take two blood tests. Well, all we need is your signature on this confidentiality agreement. She's in. Wow. As Chris Isherwood also said, it's not the getting in, it's the getting out. Oh my. And a doctor. Perfect match. Nah, she's only interested in love. Do you think? Yeah, a bit of flirting, so I'll show her the ropes. I mean, Plus, she does have a thing for doctors. I think Jack would have my kneecaps. I see, and... You still want that? Yeah. Might as well. Right. I just thought if, if we spent some time together in an evening... All right. Yes. I'm just uh, going to keep flirting with people, okay? Just because of this. Doesn't mean I'm just flirting. <laughs> you can be king of flirts. Okay. Right then. All right. She's in. I like this. Good. We should... How does that work? Four. Oh no. It's the fuzz. One. Zero. Four. Zero. Alright, that worked. Oh, it's something different. Oh, they hacked in, didn't they? Jack, I've got the list of the clinical trial subjects here. Do you think it's annoying to have a keyboard that high? Meredith Roberts, Marie Tom. See, she should have brought the key just in case. That'd be so cool if she still had that perception key. Radiation search? We've lost a signal. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, thank you. I did not want to see that. Oh my gosh, she loves that freaking taser, doesn't he? Jack. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're using a weevil on him? That's hilarious. We're developing a drug that's going to change the world, Sam. Curable cancers, AIDS, all the scourges of the human race wiped out. A revolution in medicine and social welfare. Doesn't work like that. It's still imperfect. Oh god. That's why he's bringing it, this some huge thing in there. Clever, huh? Oh, you are warped on the inside. <laughs> what do you think of these things? What what is it? That's a compliment. Wait, are they gonna like weekend at Bernie's this? Oh my gosh. They are actually weekend at burning Bernie's thing this. So a parasite is growing inside of her. Hands above your head. Can't touch. Bloody hell. What is it this time? Ew. Ew. Oh, stay calm. There's got to be something on the edge of the greatest discovery in history. It's got to be worth a few sacrifices. You must understand that, Jack. You're involved in alien research. Not like this. Not like this. But yeah, you don't. It ain't right. This place down. Oh! It worked! 
Uh, she's tired. What have you done? Go for it. Let's get her out of here. Good job. Let's just let's just go. Call in an airstrike or something. Well, you ruined everything I worked for. Yeah. Now let's not be stupid. Okay, we're both rational men, we're scientists. Let Jack take a bullet. Oh, or he can take a bullet. You're next. Ooh. Jeez, Jack. Um. Well, that's not right. Oh, don't be the end of the episode. Don't be the end of the episode. Are, are we really losing Owen in this episode? Oh my gosh. Oh, I... 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 Um. <laughs> I can never get the camera angle right this episode. I'm sorry, this is bother- We're gonna talk about the episode in a second, but this has been bothering me. This has been bothering me for the whole friggin' episode. Please indulge me while I fix this. What is oh, that's so much better. Okay. Um, what? We lost Owen. We lost Owen. That. And okay, we do we finally have a two-parter? Oh my gosh, we we might finally have a two-parter. Oh, I've been waiting for a two-parter in this friggin' show. Oh my gosh, that was probably the best episode of the season so far. Holy crap, man. Okay, I've got a couple notes, so let's talk about that. First off, yay, Martha. We get Martha back in this episode. I like that, and I love how she just gels with the team immediately. Like, there's no doubt about it. Martha's here, and she just is part of the team. Part of the ship, part of the crew. I'm adjusting my microphone so I can still see the time. Because the time is displayed in white text, which is hard to see against this, you know, white paper. So, okay, so Martha's here. I like Martha. We get to have Martha, yay. Martha's a part of UNIT. That's pretty cool, actually. Because, you know... Oh my gosh, I have to bring... I can't believe we're talking about Martha. I still have... We still have to bring up Rose. Dang it. Ugh, someday we'll all get over Rose. We'll all move on, but, um, but this is similar to how <laughs> when at the end of Doomsday, when Rose, you know, said she joined Torchwood, but she didn't join Torchwood. Martha didn't join Torchwood. She joined Unit, and I like that. And I like that the doctor recommended her. That's pretty cool, too, that that's pretty cool that the doctor wanted to because, you know, she, she said, like, you know, I want to help people. I still want to help people, and I want to help people here, and I need to, you know, you know, I've spent a year trying to save these people. I can't just leave anymore. So, yeah, I like that the doctor took that and is like, okay, how about I get you a great position where you can still help people? And, and so he recommended her to unit. That's pretty great. I love how they never mention the doctor by name. Like, they always, like, they, like, okay, occasionally they refer to, like, like, when Martha was talking to Owen, and was like, well, how did you two meet? He's like, oh, we had the same doctor. 
It's like, that's the closest we get to actually naming the Doctor in Torchwood, which is interesting. But even, like, you know, when she's talking to Jack, and it's like, ah, oh, do you miss him? Don't say, we can't say the Doctor for some reason. And, you know, and when she mentioned, like, oh, yeah, someone recommended me for Unit. And he's just like, do you think it was? It's, it's, it's like, are we talking about God here? It's like, what, is the big man upstairs in his freaking police box? Yeah. So, I like that. I like, A, I like that Martha joined Unit. B, I like that um, the doctor recommended her to Unit. And, you know, obviously Unit would take, um, would take a recommendation seriously from the doctor because the doctor has worked with Unit on so many occasions, you know, like in Terror of the Autons, which if you haven't watched my reaction to Terror of the Autons, is there might be an iCard if I remember to do that. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, God. And, and I like how they just, I don't know why, but they will never mention the Doctor by name. I almost wonder if the Doctor is even going to be on Torchwood. Like, because, you know, we've had Jack cross back over into Doctor Who, you know, from Torchwood, but is the Doctor ever going to come to Torchwood? That's my question. So, yeah. Uh, I wrote down res Reset slash Farm. So, okay, this is the general... I, I, I gotta say, this is the general sort of drama where it's like uh, this medical guy who wants to revolutionize, you know, the way we do medicine or some crap. And like, we're going to cure all diseases and stuff like that and it's like all right here's the same thing um and you know and the whole thing of oh well some sacrifices have to be made it's like okay whatever it's like it's a little cliched but it works here and um yeah so it was all right i liked I, I, again i liked that it i liked it because it had martha in it because we had martha infiltrating farm like, I like that. That was interesting and fun and cool and stuff like that. Um, I wrote down bugs because um, because that was interesting that this whole cure-all thing came from these the, the bugs, the mayflies. So that was kind of interesting. Very gross and very, whoo, oh, when it was, like, bulging out of her, ugh, out of her stomach. God. Ugh. And the last thing I wrote down was Martha's immune system. So that's interesting that she is a special case because, you know, you know, okay, if you had Jack there, no matter what happens, Jack wouldn't die, you know? Like, the, the bugs can do anything to him. He's not going to die. You know, they can do anything to him. It's not really going to affect him because of the whole bad wolf thing. But I like that they especially make note of her immune system because it has been affected by traveling with the doctor and now i'm wondering because he kind of says like your immune system has traveled through space and time how he knows that i don't know but but yeah i'm wondering it's like is that just because of the different places that martha has been to in space and time that we saw in series three or is that specifically for um is that specifically um, it, it, her first appearance in Smith and Jones when the doctor, because remember the doctor kissed her so that she would appear to be, well, alien, Gallifreyan, non-human to the Jadoon. So I'm wondering, is there some of that still in her, it, you know, it's part of his DNA basically. So I'm wondering if it's part of that and that's why, you know, she can survive these creatures so long. Whereas they said no other human, no one else has ever made it past the larval stage. They all die. Whereas she didn't die. And I'm wondering if that's part of, you know, what the doctor gave her in that first episode. You know, does she have a little bit of regeneration in her? Maybe? I don't know. God, I hope she's in the next episode. She has to be in the next episode, right? They're down, they're, they're down a doctor, so we have to keep her for a little bit. So, yeah, great episode, love seeing Martha back, and yeah, that was a lot of fun, and I really like that. So, with that all being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.
Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Torchwood reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that bell for notifications. You can support me on Patreon, and you can follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.